We have lost a great British comedian, actor, stage actor, screen actor, film actor, and as far as I can tell, a great person. Today, Rick Mail, star of The Young Ones, Blackadder, Bottom, Drop Dead Fred, and several Tony Award winning shows has passed away at the age of 56. There's been several tributes to him online from famous people, John Lloyd, uh, Eric Idle, Noel Fielding, and it shows the sort of amount of influence he's had on so many amazing people, I imagine, less on Eric Idle, I imagine it's the other way around, but his anarchic, just crazy way of doing comedy is what made alternative comedy in the 1980s and the 1990s. It made comedy different, it made comedy interesting, and it's something that I don't think is easily recaptured. I absolutely adore Bottom, his show with Adrian Ed Edmondson. It's just a fantastic, well-written romp. It's, it's crude, it's rude, it's ridiculous, it's full of over-the-top slapstick humour, and if you watch the bottom live ones, it's even worse. And it's amazing. It's just fantastic. He was wonderful, and I am so sad to hear that he went, especially at such a young age, 56. He's, that's too young for him to be taken away from the world. And, you know, life's not fair, eh? So my sympathies go out to his family and his friends and anybody who cared about him and the people he cared about. I'm sorry to hear of his death. And he will be missed by thousands of people all across the world. He was a great. He was pretty amazing. And it's, I'm very sad to see him go. I might have to watch some Bottom tonight. Some Blackadder. Old Flash Art, you can't kill old Flash Art. <laughs> Interesting fact about Rick Mail, uh, when they were making Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone into a film, they wanted to put Peeves the Poltergeist in it, because he was a great comedic character to have. And they cast a Peeves, and the Peeves was going to be Rick Mail. And picture how amazing he would have been in that role. Just think of that. And let's, let's hope there's some form of afterlife for him to continue doing the thing that he does best. Because he's wonderful. Heck, let's just hope he comes back as a poltergeist and just fucks around like Peeves. Haunts Aid Edmondson. So yeah, I'm very sad to see him go. Rest in peace, Rick. My condolences and sympathies to his family and friends. I'll see you later with a review of A Million Ways to Die in the West, which was what I was going to upload today originally. I'm going to film it now. Goodbye.